I would say about twice a week, people ask me, how do you properly connect boards within monday.com? In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through the steps that you need to connect boards within monday.com. So that way you can see the data on both boards. So let's jump in. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. As you can see over here, we have two boards, board one and board two. I literally just created these boards, so there's nothing special, unique about them from the template as soon as you go to create a new board and you can see they look exactly the same. Now, let's say we wanna connect board one to board two. So we're gonna come over to the plus button on board one and we're gonna search for this option, connect boards, and I'm gonna click it. And what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a pop-up that's gonna say, select the boards that you wanna connect to. So I'm gonna click select boards and I'm gonna choose board two. Now, before I click on this connect board button, there's something really important that you need to take into account. If you look down here, you see there's an option to create a two-way connection. What this means, if I would check this box like this, is that when you're connecting the boards, you can see the information on board one and board two. If I don't check this box, then I will only be able to see the information on board one. So it's really important to think about where you wanna see this information and you're gonna decide if this is a one-way connection or a two-way connection. Please note that you cannot change this after, so it's really important to decide now. Now, since I decided that I want a two-way connection, which means that I only have information on both boards, I checked this box and I'm gonna hit create boards. If I wanna add a mirror column, I can. I'm gonna just click do this later. And you'll see that over here, a new column was created which connects to board two. Now, since I clicked on the button for a two-way connection, if you go to board two, you'll see a new column was also created there. So let's go back to board one. And now we can actually connect our items. See here, it's telling me board two, and I can just choose which items I wanna connect. Here, item one and item one are both connected. If I look at board two, you'll see that I can see the connection over there because that was a two-way connection where I see the information in both places. Now, there's two other important things that I wanna show you about the setup. Number one is how to do mirror columns. And number two is what happens if I wanna add more connections to more boards? What's the best way to do it? Because if you do it the right way, you're not gonna end up with too many connected board columns, but if you don't do it this way, then you'll have a lot of connected board columns. So first, let's look at a mirror column. Now remember, we did a two-way connection from board one and board two. So I can simply click on these three dots, click on settings, customize connect boards, and I can add a mirror column. And you can see that it automatically popped up that the mirror was status. Let's just say I wanna do something else. I can just choose whichever one that I want. Here I did person. Um, I would just change this so that way it represents what you're, what you're mirroring, okay? So this column actually lives on board two. So I'm gonna add a person to this item. So remember, I'm working in a mirror. So even though I added it on board one, if you show up, if you go to board two, you'll see that I was added here because I mirrored this column to board one. Okay, so I'm, I'm connecting a board in this column and then I'm mirroring it within that board. So I'm only seeing the information here, but this is kind of, it's really a mirror because you're viewing the information in another board, but it doesn't really live here. So in terms of mirrors, you just need to go to settings and find which columns you wanna pull the mirror from, and then you need to do it on that board. If I want it on board two, I simply can go here as well, and I can add mirror columns, which would allow me to view the information on board one. Okay, now I wanna to go to the second scenario that I was talking about. So we have board one and two, which remember are connected, and I created board three. As you can see here, it's a plain, simple board just what it looks like as soon as you create it. And there's no connected board column. So let's say I decide, you know what, I don't like the structure of how I'm doing this in Monday. 
I want to actually change this to be a board of all of my projects. Okay, so I want this to be what they call in Monday a high level board. And then it's going to connect to all of my lower level boards. Now, this projects board is connected to board two, but it's not connected to board three. Now, if this projects board is like a summary of all of your projects, you're going to want to have one column that connects to all of these boards. So this is where you need to be careful about where you connect to these boards from. If, and again, I'm connecting projects now to board three. If I connect it from the projects board, I have no problem. But if I put from board three, then it's going to create another column on this projects board. So what you need to do is click on the three dots, settings, customize connected board column, connect more boards. I'm going to click on board three and connect boards. So if we go over here, now you can see I'm connected to the two different boards. If I go back to board three, you're going to see in a minute that when it loads, see it automatically created that connected board column. So what that means is that on this projects board, I have one column that connects to board two and board three. And then I have one column on each board, which shows the connection. So this is like a great setup because it's very clean. So I just want to show you what not to do just so you understand um, what kind of issues it's going to cause for you. So if I click the plus button here and then I go to connected board column and let's say I want to connect it from here to project. Here's my projects board and I'm going to hit, I'm going to make a two-way connection because I want to see the information both ways. connect boards. Okay, now what's going to happen is it's true I have one column here, but if we go back to the projects board, you're going to see that it's going to create another column. See, it created another column. So this is just a messy view because if this is an overall projects board, I want one column where I can connect to both boards. I know I showed you the right way to do it and then the wrong way to do it, but the point that I wanted to make is that if you have one board where you want one column to connect to other boards, create that column within that single board every single time and then make it a two-way connection and then it will always go to the other board. So you won't have a situation like this where you have a number of connected board columns. I can't tell you how many columns I've erased for my clients because they have so many connected board columns because they set it up in the wrong board. So a quick review of the three things that we covered today. The first is how to create a connected board column. So you're connecting one board to another. The second is how to create a mirror. And the third is if you're connecting more than one board, how to do it properly so you don't have multiple columns. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.